What you guys got another video on how to fix thumbnails not showing problem on Windows 11. If you've got Windows 11 or Windows 10 and you're seeing something like this where your thumbnails are not showing on the folders or on the actual images, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to resolve this issue very quickly, pretty straightforward, but it can be annoying if uh, you're not getting any sort of uh, thumbnail images on your folders. So first go down to search and type Winver. Inside here, you can type Winver and then click on this. The latest version of Windows 11, 22H2, started to introduce the thumbnails uh, on your uh, folders. So if this is what you're having an issue with, then you can actually fix it. So let's first go to settings and make sure that you've got the very latest update of Windows. Make sure Windows is fully updated because there may be a patch or a bug fix in one of those that is going to resolve your issue. So make sure that's fully updated. Once you've got that done, you're going to go down to the search box and then inside here, we're going to type in here uh, C L E A N, which is clean, and you should see disk cleanup. Click OK and open up the disk cleanup tool. This will open up the disk cleanup tool. And what we want to do here is just remove the thumbnails, just in case that you have got all the latest version of Windows. All you want to do is remove thumbnails here, and this will reset everything and remove all of the thumbnail cache. So let's go ahead and uh, leave that check marked and then clean up my system. It will open up again. It'll do its little check. It will take a bit of time. And then another box will open up again. And again, you just need to go through and remove all the check marks here, unless you want to remove other stuff on your computer. I'm just going to remove the thumbnail cache here. So let's just remove this and leave thumbnails check marked. Once that's done, you can see there is a big 14.5 gigabyte previous Windows installation here. Leave that alone if you want to roll back at any time. So just leave the check mark for thumbnails, click OK, and then delete files. Once that's done, we can then have a little check to see whether that resolved your issue. If it hasn't resolved your issue, then there's other things we can try, and I'll show you those right now. So let's go ahead. You can see the thumbnails cache is still uh, not resolved. So what I'm going to do is show you the next thing that you can try. So go up to the three dots here. You should see three little dots. Click on this and then click Options. Inside the Options area, you should see Folder Options. Go to View, and click on the View tab. From here, you should see Always Show Icons, Never Thumbnails. If this is checkmarked, you're not going to see any thumbnails. Uncheck this, and then Apply and OK, and you should now see thumbnails appear on your folders and also on your uh, images, just like so. Now there's also a restore defaults here, which you can click on to restore to defaults. If you've been tweaking your PC, you may want to click on this and restore these settings back to their default. You can also do that. So now we've got this working here. Let me show you just in case you have not got it working still. You can go to the search box and type in here advanced system uh, settings here. Click on this one and this will open up another box. And you should see system properties in the advanced tab here. Go to performance settings. And a lot of people like tweaking inside here, but if you've removed all of these check marks, say for instance, show thumbnails instead of icons, you are not going to see uh, thumbnails. The icons will be just showing. So make sure that you've got the check mark inside there and apply this and OK it. Let me show you what this does. So if you remove it for best performance, you'll see something looking like this. If you want to restore it back, you need to put the check mark in show thumbnails instead of icons, apply this and OK, or let Windows take care of this for you. And it will put the folder uh, thumbnails back and also the icons back on your images. So let's go ahead and try some other things here. Go to search. Inside the search box, type CMD and go to run as administrator. This will open up the command prompt box. And just here, what we're going to do is clear the cache here. So what we need to do is close down uh, the Explorer here. So by typing this task kill command here, and this will close down Explorer. You'll see the screen go gray around the command prompt box. Then we need to type out this big long command here. And this is going to delete the thumbnail cache database. Just push enter and it will remove all of the uh, database files here. Once we've done that, we can restart 
the Explorer by typing start space explorer.exe and you'll see the gray around the outside come back to the desktop here. Now you can do this manually by going to the location and deleting the database folder, but you will need to close off, uh, you know, Explorer first and you can do that in task manager and then to do it manually, but it's just as easy to do it inside command prompt. So if we go here now, you should now see all of your folder icons back and also your icons back for your uh, images and things like that. Now, if you've changed your image, if you're still having an issue with your images and you've changed them and you're seeing something like this, then this is to do with the file association. It's something totally different. But if you need to put it back, I'll show you quickly how to do it. It's very simple. So you can see when you open up your images, they're opening up in a different document. So right click on the image that you're having an issue with, click open with, and then basically choose another app and then choose the app that you want your images to open with, say photos or something like that. Click always and then your photos will always open up in that app. It's that simple, very easy to do. And that can really confuse a lot of people. And that's always been a really common issue with a lot of people when they change the file association. Anyway, that has now been done. Now, if you're still having a few issues, you can run uh, some other checks like SFC scan now to make sure there's uh, no integrity issues with your operating system. So just open up a command prompt as administrator, type SFC space forward slash scan now and run this on your computer. It will take a bit of time, but it should uh, come back with a clean bill of health. If it comes back with some issues, hopefully it's fixed and rectified those uh, integrity problems and violations, and it will fix those for you. And then hopefully, once you do your fixes, hopefully that has rectified your problem. So once you've got this done, you can come out of here now, and that should be it. You should be able to now see uh, folder icons in your folders. Just make sure you're using one of the latest versions of Windows. If you're using a real old version, then you may not see folder icons at all because it wasn't released back then. So just make sure you're using the latest version of Windows 10 and Windows 11. Anyway, that is about it for this video. Just a quick fix it video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.